Happy Saturday. Friends, all right. I am coming to you live on my personal page. I was going to go into um, one of my private groups for this video. Do you see my eyelashes? What is going on there? Um, but I thought, what the heck? You know what? I got some time. I'm going to talk to you all about something that came up today. We had, um, for those of you that are clients of the studio, you know we run a Fierce AF, which is a fierce as fuck six-week Pardon me if you don't already know I use the foul languages. So sorry for the small ears. Um, six week transformation program. And so we had our wrap up today. It was off the chain. Do people say that anymore? Um, and the girls like lost tons of inches and pounds and all these amazing things. This crew totally kicked ass this time. Um, and I left and I went grocery shopping. But anyways, we have a suggestion box in the bathroom at the studio. Um, and it's often empty. Uh, we usually get some love notes in there, like we're kicking ass, we love the coaches. Um, and I like to address these things in a public forum. So that way we can discuss things that come into the suggestion box. So um, this was not clickbait for the video. This is uh, entirely my opinion, and if you differ, that's totally okay. You're entitled to your own opinion. On um, one of the questions that came in, the uh, suggestion box, or comments, questions, etc. So, this comment question says, uh, have a core class all abs. Now, I'm going to assume this person is wanting to see visible abs. There's no, um, as you can see, I don't know who left it. That's totally okay. We love anonymous. I, I'm all about it. Uh, and so this person is asking about core. So I'm assuming this person is like, yo, I want to see my six pack. What's going on? Not necessarily coming from the standpoint of um, core strengthening, etc. Very well could be, but I'm going to go with the ploy of they're wanting to see visible abs. So if you don't already know, you will never ever see your abs if you eat like an asshole. So what is eating like an asshole? That means you work out and you do all the things and then you just like have no regard to your nutrition. So with that being said, I would much rather you spend whatever time that you would think you would like to have for a core class, which is typically a 45 minute class at our studio, and get your ass in the kitchen. So I'm gonna show you, I just uh, did a grocery haul, and this is how you get a six pack, okay? But let me backtrack first. Um, let's just talk a little bit of science first. You will never see abs, obviously, if there is a layer of fat. Like I'm six weeks out from a contest. I got, I'm holding water. You know, there's some, there's some visible abs there, but I, I don't get abs until like I'm two weeks out from a contest and that's like shred town, right? So um, with that being said, if you, everybody's abs are gonna look different. Some people genetically have like that turtle shell under there. It depends on if you played sports as a child, if you already have, um, you know, some, some uh, history with sports and athletics and things like that. I, however, did not. So um, I, you know, everybody's abs are gonna be built differently. So that's gonna be step, that's gonna be an obvious uh, answer to when you strip down your body fat, what your core is gonna look like depends on genetics, how often you're training them, how, how you know how to engage your core when you're training. So in all of our classes at Venus, and this is not a plug for Venus, this is literally just to give you guys some, some good stuff to take away for this weekend, um, we incorporate core in, in all capacity. So core is not just abs, core also includes your low back and your glutes as well. Uh, so just just to get that out there. So we incorporate that in almost every single class, whether that's upper body, lower body training, whether that's one of the cardio classes or a HIIT class. Most of our cl classes now are about 90% strength training. And then we do like some HIIT circuits and stuff at the end just to get your heart rate up and get you like a little bit of a sweat and AKA cardio. But we would rather keep you in there and have you building muscle because the more muscle you have, the more food you can eat. <laughs> um, let's just face it, I, I, I'm currently eating probably 20 to 2,500 calories right now. Um, but I'm, I'm able to because I, I'm carrying a little bit more muscle. And so that is the benefit of strength training. Um, okay, so I'm babbling, y'all. I just got done working out and I had too much pre-workout. So don't eat like an asshole, and we're gonna talk about that. So things that you can do. Um, 
I am obsessed with egg whites. So low calorie, high protein. You want to get a lot of protein in. Uh, helps build muscle when you are strength training, not just you know sitting on your butt eating egg whites is going to build muscle. You got to get some time under the iron. So egg whites. This is going to help uh, help you with trimming down some body fat and seeing those abs that you want to see. Um, I do egg whites in protein pancakes. Um, I do them in my oatmeal, things like that. So egg whites are a great source of protein, super low cal and like zero fat, I believe. Yes. Zero fat. All right. Um, so I do that, uh, totally a no brainer. I think for most people is skinless, uh, chicken breast. So these guys I pop in a, a freaking frying pan. I am not fancy by any means. Um, everything is like quick and easy because I ain't got time to just be doing this all day long. Um, then I've got extra lean uh, turkey breast. Okay. So if you notice a trend here, um, lower in fat, higher in protein, moderate carbohydrates is this style that I choose to um, use for myself personally when I want to have a little bit more muscle view <laughs> coming through, lower body fat, and also work with my clients as well. So um, extra lean meats and egg whites. Um, I've got, <laughs> I can I flip the camera? I can, y'all, I'm a little new to this. Not really, but. Uh, so I've got, uh, way too many bags of white fish right here. So white fish, um, I'm not, I was never a huge fan of y'all, like just PTSD from tilapia back in the day, but swai actually hasn't been, um, hasn't been bad. And I actually look forward to my AKA diet food. It's just the way I eat for the most part. Now I'll show you some of my treat foods that I have as well, but, um, it's literally just white fish. So I defrost this stuff in the sink under cold water. It takes five minutes. I throw the fillets in a pan. Um, I grab lemons, squeeze lemon juice, some seasonings and herbs and whatever. And I fry the shit out of that stuff. And it doesn't smell fishy at all. I'm really weird about texture. So if you are like, ew, I can't fish, slimy, lit. Trust me when I say go to my Instagram and follow it. I think I might even have it in the highlights about how I cook my fish. Um, I literally cook it until it's super, super dry, chop it up and it gets really fine and flaky. And I almost like, uh, I don't want to say burn it, but it's pretty crispy and then mix it in with my white rice or sweet potatoes or whatever. It's really, really good. Okay. So some things that I add, because I think that is a huge snag for a lot of people is when they start eating clean, they're like, Ugh, like it's so bland. I can't do it. I don't know how to cook. I need recipes. Y'all it's literally just like throwing shit together and like, let's see what works. For example, um, I'm all about convenience. I don't want to stand here and chop a million things and do all that crap. So green onions, amazing, adds great flavor, white onions, and then good old mushrooms. If you like mushrooms, saute these first in a pan and then set them aside. And then once you do that, you can then cook your meat. Okay. And then here, I'm going to give you some options for like flavoring your meats. So it's not just plain stuff all the time. So taco seasoning, gluten-free taco seasoning, I will use in my turkey. Um, this one's not gluten-free, but this one's actually really good. The burrito seasoning, I put it on turkey. It doesn't have to be beef. So this is a good one. Um, and then I will just cruise the sauce aisle and look for stuff that has low calories. So low macros, there's not a lot of added crap into it. Um, chimchurri salsa. So I will do that in the ground turkey or over the chicken breast after I sear it in a pan. Um, pineapple tomatillo salsa, like 15 calories for two tablespoons. I'll probably use half of a jar for um, two pounds of turkey. So a little bit goes a long way. So I'll do that. Um, the other thing too is I love me some barbecue. So I'll throw sometimes the chicken breast on the barbecue. I can grill. I know I'm so wifey status. Who do? Um, but I will throw sugar free. This one's uh, sugar free barbecue hickory. This guy's like super popular right now in the bodybuilding world. Like everybody's all about the sugar free barbecue sauce. Walmart had this one. I got the hickory. We'll see. I have the uh, honey one and that one's not bad. Um, okay. So there's that. So that's like my base. I always start with a protein. All right. So start with your protein first, figure that shit out and then work around it. Your next step is going to be what veggies are you going to have with that? Um, right now I've got broccoli in the fridge, but I'm not a big fan y'all. 
uh, kind of over it. So green beans, these guys, super easy. I literally will pop them in the microwave, cover it with some saran wrap, put some water in there, steam them, and then season them however. Or if you wanna give fancy, you can throw them in a pan, saute them, put your seasonings and sauces and all that good stuff on your green beans. And they're delicious, they're pretty good. So I'll do that or I'll do zucchini. Um, I also have in the freezer like riced cauliflower. Um, and I use asparagus last, um, specifically like in prep because um, it's, it's a natural diuretic and it helps, uh, it, it's, it's just, it's faster digesting, I feel like, than some of these other vegetables too. So um, I use that towards the end of prep, like last two weeks, because I don't want to be doing asparagus every day. Sorry. I don't want to be smelling asparagus pee all the time. It's kind of annoying. All right. Um, and then the other thing too is that we want to be cautious of. Um, fat is not the devil. Fat is not going to make you fat. But I like to pick and choose where I um, add my fat, specifically um, M&M's. And also... Um, white chocolate chips, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But um, I take a really uh, potent, really good quality omega-3 fatty acid that's high in DHA and EPAs and all those good things. So I know that those are covered for me personally. Um, while I would love to get them from food, I'm supplementing with them and then cutting fats in other areas and making sure that I'm still getting to at least 45 grams of fat per day, which is where we want to be hormonally as females. We don't want to dip below that. So that's super important, hence um, why I supplement and that's a whole nother video. Uh, but when I cook, I don't advocate that my clients cook with olive oil because it just tends to be like a pour. And then before you know it, your lean turkey or your lean chicken or your veggies have now been become 300 calories, uh, excess because you have dumped a ton of oil that holds nine calories per gram which means that a little goes a long way and sometimes eyeballing that shit will take you over in terms of um trying to lose fat so you're basically just spinning your wheels because you're dumping fat into your foods so i have been for years cooking with pan spray so I will spray the pan for all my stuff. Or if you're bougie and you have some really nice pans, which I don't right now, I need to pay a trip to TJ Maxx apparently, but um, I will just spray my pans and it's all good. And that tends to work really, really well. Um, so there we've got your proteins, super important. If you want to see your abs, you have to watch your calories and watch your food. Don't eat like an asshole. Um, you've got your veggies we covered and then complex carbohydrates are as simple as I love white rice, sweet potatoes, um, white potatoes even, uh, and then just in measuring those, making sure that you portion that shit out. Like don't eyeball. Like if you think, oh yeah, it's like a quarter of a cup, it's probably three quarters of a cup or half of a cup. So until you get really, really good at your eyeballing skills, um, I just say use a measuring cup, use a measuring cup. If you don't want to get all super type A crazy with a food scale, you don't have to do that. Trust me. Um, but I say definitely bust out measuring cups to keep things consistent. So that way you can see what a quarter of a cup of rice looks like. You guys, it's like three bites. Okay. And so if you're trying to um, see your abs, uh, you have to make sure that your shit is on track with your feet. You're eating. Um, oh, I, I'm, I'm using this as a prop and I forgot to talk about one of the most amazing macros, which is fat, um, peanut butter, all natural peanut butter. So this stuff is magical. I'm going to give you guys a fun little tip on this too, is that what's all that oil at the top? Store it upside down. One of my clients taught me this years ago. And basically, uh, even in the fridge, just <laughs> make sure your lid is on because I have opened the fridge to a puddle of goo. And that is not fun because who wants to waste peanut butter? It's just like a magical food. So um, healthy fats here, again, just like uh, olive oil or any of the oils that you add uh, to your stuff, nuts, oils, things like that, a little goes a long way. And um, we all know that when you scoop it out, you're like licking the spoon and all the things. So I am a huge advocate of measuring your fats for sure. If you're going to like choose which one you have to be particular about, you're like, eh, I don't want to do all this measuring. I would say measure your fats first and foremost. Muy importante. Uh, a tablespoon of peanut butter ain't much friends. And, uh, when you go to spread that on like your rice cakes or whatever, it's like 
Wow, that's not much. And it adds up super fast. So peanut butter, again, another source of healthy fats. Uh, or almond butter. Almond butter I prefer uh, in terms of um, the health benefits because peanuts have been shown to cause inflammation in some studies. Um, eh, you know, it's one of those things. Okay, so we got that. Oh, another thing too, uh, frozen blueberries, which they're kind of mushy because this video is very long and um, I put them in my cart first, but I put wild blueberries in my oatmeal in the morning. So uh, again, oatmeal, a complex carbohydrate, not instant oats. I don't have them out because I didn't buy any. I have plenty in my pantry, but um, oatmeal you want to make sure is old fashioned. Don't try to do the one minute oats. The reason why is because that shit has been processed so much because it's supposed to cook in one minute that uh, it doesn't really leave much for your body to do in terms of breaking it down so all the nutritious stuff has kind of been stripped away so do old-fashioned oats don't do the packets if you're doing the packets I'm gonna do that to your forehead um, just come to me and I'm gonna be like you're doing up oatmeal packets with maple brown sugar come here I'm gonna smack you right in the forehead no I'm just kidding I probably would just smack you in the ass and be like girlfriend girl go get old-fashioned oats stop eating that poison that has high fructose corn syrup and all that crap in it. Okay, let me just climb off my soapbox. <laughs> all right, so there's peanut butter. Okay, let's talk about snacks because I have clients that are like, I need snacks, I have the munchies at nighttime or you know, in between meals or whatever. Um, I personally think a lot of times when you feel snackish or craving stuff, it has, a, not personally, I have read this before studies and have shown that a lot of times it has to do with the meal prior to that. So whatever you ate prior to this trigger that keeps coming up in the middle of the day or whatever it may be, um, is the reason why you're feeling snackish or you're having these cravings. So when you can have a nice, well-rounded, I know that sounds super old school and old fashioned, balanced meal where you've got a good source of protein, a good source of complex carbohydrates, a good source of veggies, maybe a little healthy fat, You'll be satiated a lot longer. You're not going to have that um, temptation to want to be snackish and whatnot because you should feel full and, you're, and you should, should feel satisfied. So a lot of times it's just a trigger and, um, and habits, which I have had plenty of those, trust me. So, um, so with that being said, sometimes you want a little bit of something, something, right? Like what do you want to have? You want to just be like knuckle deep in like some Doritos or whatever. And you know how that goes. Like who really portions things out? Not many people. So I like to do things that... Yes, there are some processed things in my diet because I'm not the food babe. I'm sure she's screaming um, in her perfect little world of, you know, none, nothing that's fake and false in her life. I am not the food babe. I am just your average everyday Joe Schmo. So um, some things I will make sure that I have in my pantry if I have a snack accident, which is going to be the skinny girl popcorn, which is individually portion sized already, and it's fucking delicious. It's, it's a lime, can you guys see it? It's uh, lime and salt, super yummy. So <clears throat> this is always in my pantry. It's my go-to if I'm having one of those moments where I just wanna like eat the fridge or eat the pantry, which isn't very often, so that box will last quite a while. The other thing too, I'm a huge advocate when um, we're going through Fierce AF or we teach my clients in the studio, um, I'm not a huge fan of meal plans unless you're in a, a competition prep diet and things like that because everything has to be very, very, very structured. Um, if you're just trying to live your life, look good in a bathing suit, look good, feel good, have energy, things like that, I want you to, I encourage all my clients to have sanity foods and even when I'm in prep I have sanity foods my sanity food which is always typically my sanity food are peanut M&Ms bet you didn't think that but it is so um, again so I don't eat like an asshole I get the snack size and I have managed to exercise portion control don't ask me how, and I'm not a saint. There have been some days where I've had two bags, okay? But the reality of it is, is sometimes sometimes you just want a little something sweet. I always like to tell my clients, I don't have a sweet tooth. I have sweet teeth. Hence probably why my dentist bill is always so high, because I always have cavities. Thanks, mom and dad. But um, yes, I will do one bag of M&Ms sometimes if, um, you know, at the end of the night, if I'm feeling like I just want a little something, something, you know, a little something before I go to bed, I'll do that. The other little uh, sanity foods that I will do is uh, I will do, can you guys see this? White chocolate chips. 
in my protein pancakes. Sometimes I'll have a, what I call pancake party at night, especially towards the end of prep because um, sometimes towards the end of prep, I get a little more sugary cravings because everything is like so far removed from my diet that, um, but I have my regular, my clients do this even, you know, when they're not competing is um, I will, put and honestly the reason why white chocolate there's no magic to it whatsoever it's just that i stood in the baking aisle like a crackhead like i always do at the grocery store and i looked at those nutrition facts on the back of the label and i can have double the amount of white chocolate chips than i can the milk chocolate chips so y'all i'm an eat beast so of course naturally i'm going to do white chocolate chips and i literally just do like a sprinkle in my protein pancakes and I'm good, like I get that sweet craving out of it. All right, what else? Other snack sedents, other snacks. Um, rice cakes I know seem super like diety, but honestly they kill the craving whether you have a salty craving or you have a sweet craving. Um, sometimes this is all I need after dinner to just like kill that. I don't need to be knuckle deep in some Ben & Jerry's, although that sounds fucking amazing, but I don't wanna eat like an asshole and neither do you because it's summer and y'all wanna feel good in your shit like your bikinis and your shorts and all that I'm your girl so save this video or do what you need to do ask your questions and I will answer them I don't know all the things but I know a lot of things I think okay so these um perfect little snack the other thing everyone's like oh this is another one too this is a uh, jello which I know is very geriatric so just bear with me sometimes you just want something cold and uh sugar-free jello yes it probably is full of chemicals and shit but like I said I eat one of these maybe a day, sometimes every other day. It's whatever. I'm not the food babe. So if you're going to rant on about whatever, then just don't follow me anymore. Okay, but black cherry is the shit. All right, so good. All right, there's that. Um, what else did I show you? Oh, uh, s uh, water gets super boring. I totally get it. I drink two gallons a day. Trust me, sometimes like poof, if I'm not living on the toilet, which I need to go to the bathroom, so I have to get this video going. But... Um, I do some diet drinks. Now, let me share with you, juice is not healthy. Juice is not healthy, repeat after me. Orange juice is not healthy. Apple juice, cranberry juice, 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 juice is not. So if you're giving your kids juice because you think you're being like healthy because it's better than soda, at the end of the day, I would rather you give them an orange or an apple or whatever. That's just a total side rant. Juice is uh, very, very high in sugar. Uh, it contains no fiber, typically. And uh, it's, it's definitely one of those things you want to cut back or eliminate or just have on occasion, like, you know, in your mimosas. I don't know. But, um, but I will do diet just to like kill the insanity of plain water sometimes. Now, a little bit goes a long way. So I, this will probably last me a month, no joke, because I will just pour maybe like a quarter of a cup in my gallon of water or whatever, just to give it a little bit of excitement other than just lemon, because I'm not one of those competitors that can just put lemon juice on salad and shit like that. Like that blows my mind. I don't know how people do that. Okay. Um, I think I did it all and y'all, my blueberries are melting, so I need to get them in the fridge. Hopefully this video was helpful. Maybe if you have a friend that you know would be um, interested in like some of the stuff that I just kind of rambled on about, tag them in the video. I don't know. Um, I hope to hopefully inspire you to get on the Walmart app, which I did not do, PS by the way, but 99% of the time when I order my groceries, I don't like to go in the store because I end up bringing stuff home that I should not and I start to eat like an asshole, but I will go in the Walmart app and order your groceries online. Literally, you're sitting here on watching me on Facebook, so I know you can do that. Go download the Walmart app or Rayleigh's or Safeway or Save Mart. I think all of these places will, um, you can order online. I think even Costco, some of them deliver. I'm way out in the boonies, so no one wants to come out here, but um, get your grocery shopping done. You know, try a couple of the things that I uh, talked about here today. If you have questions on how to cook anything, post them in the comments. I love talking about this shit because at the end of the day, yes, I love exercise. Every day it's my drug, but if you wanna see your abs, if you wanna make any changes, and if you're my client, 
I see you. And you're like, nothing's changing. I'm going to say, what are you eating? <laughs> and not because I'm being a dick, but because I know how this whole thing works. Because I was just in that same position not that long ago. Well, it feels like not that long ago. Where I was spinning my wheels, doing all the exercise things on the planet, and just being like, why is nothing changing? Well, because I was eating corn dogs and mac and cheese, and I was going to, um, what's this, there was this restaurant we used to go to for lunch every day. Um, <laughs> and I was eating just like, I was eating like an asshole. And I thought, well, I'm exercising, so it's good, I deserve this. Oh, I deserve this because I just did this, da 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 da, -da. It's not a deserving thing, it's just the reality of it is, is you're just taking two steps forward and taking four steps back. And so you play the cha-cha, I call it the diet cha-cha, two steps forward, four steps back, do, 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 and you're doing that all the damn time. So it's not to say that you have to be super strict on a diet, but you have to start to adjust things, swap things out, make concessions for certain things, quit drinking like an asshole all the time, and um, yeah, have some sanity foods and practice moderation, which is a whole nother video. But um, okay, you guys, hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, you want another video. I've got tons of videos. I got tons of things to say and um, have a great weekend. Food prep, I'm gonna be doing that. I'm doing that right now. If you wanna follow along, go to my Instagram. I'll be posting some stories of my food prep. It's at living the goddess life. And um, most of my good shit is there because Instagram's just super easy. It's like 10 seconds. Blah, 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 blah. And I don't, I can't ramble like I can here. So if you like it quick and dirty, go there. Okay, bye guys. Have a great weekend.